Since we had understood the trigonometric ratios for angle 45 degrees, angle 30 degrees and angle 60 degrees. Now let's have a look at the last angles that is 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So we are looking at the trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Now for looking at these trigonometric ratios, first of all we should have a triangle. So let's assume a right angle triangle A, B, C and now in this right angle triangle let's have a look on angle B. Concentrate on angle B. Now for angle B, can you tell me which is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is always opposite to the right angle. So right angle is at C so AB will be our hypotenuse. AB will be our hypotenuse. And since we are focusing on angle B, AC will be the opposite and BC will be our adjacent. Now, since we had located all the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent, next we have to locate is either angle 0 or angle 90. So can you make this angle B to be 0 somehow? Now, if I start Pushing this side A towards BC, what will happen? I am pushing it towards BC. You will find out that the triangle has become shorter and this angle B has reduced from some value to some other value. Its previous value was more than its now value. Now if I push it more towards BC, what will happen? This point A will ultimately merge in BC and when it will merge in BC, what will happen? This angle B will reduce to 0. So let's do it. Now you will see that angle B has become, had, had become to be 0 and our opposite that was AC, this side length has also becomes 0 and this side length AB the hypotenuse has becomes equals to our adjacent. So when angle B had become 0 for this condition our opposite that was AC it has also become 0 and one more thing has happened. What has happened? AB. This was our hypotenuse has becomes equals to BC. So now we have the length or of our opposite, our hypotenuse and our adjacent. So we can apply Soka Toa for angle B, which is zero degrees, and find out all the values of trigonometric ratios for angle 0 degrees. So let's write down all the trigonometric ratios for angle 0 first. A first trigonometric ratio is sine of 0 degrees. Now we are looking at angle B which has now to be 0 degrees and since we are looking at angle B our opposite has become to be 0 and hypotenuse has become equal to our adjacent. So we are looking at sine of 0 degrees. So to write the value of sine, we have to apply Soka Toa. And so says that sine is opposite upon hypotenuse. So our opposite was AC. AC is our opposite. And what is our hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is AB. So this will be AC upon AB. And if we put the value of AC, AC has becomes 0 here. So the value of AC will write 0 and upon AB. So its value comes out to be 0. So sine of 0 degrees is 0. And let's write down cos of 0 degrees. Cos is using ka. Ka says that cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. So the value of adjacent is BC. So we'll write BC and hypotenuse is AB. 
and since we had seen that for angle B is equals to 0, AB is equals to BC. So in place of BC, we can write AB. So this will be AB upon AB. And if we cancel out, its value comes out to be 1. Similarly, we can go for tan of 0 degrees, either by using TOA or by dividing sine and cos. So let's divide sine and cos. So if we divide 0 by 1, what will we get? This is again 0. Similarly, we can find the value of cot 0 degrees. Cot 0 is 1 upon tan 0 since cot is the reciprocal of tan. So we'll reciprocal this value 1 upon tan 0 degrees. So 1 upon 0 is not defined. So this is not defined or we can say the value is infinity. Now next let's move on to sec 0. Sec of 0 degrees will be the reciprocal of cos 0 degrees. So we when we'll reciprocal 1 will get 1. So this will be 1 upon cos 0 degrees and 1 upon 1 is 1. So sec of 0 degrees is also 1. Lastly, the value of cos sec 0 will find out by reci by, by doing reciprocal of sin 0 degrees. So this will be 1 upon sin of 0 degrees and if we receive, do the reciprocal of 0, we'll again get not defined or infinity. So this will be 1 by 0 and since 1 by 0 is not defined, so the value of cos x 0 is also not defined. So this is how we get the values for angle 0 for all the trigonometric ratios. Now let's move on to 90 degrees. Now for 90 degrees, let's consider a original triangle that was A, B, C and we are looking again at angle B here. So since we are looking at angle B, hypotenuse opposite and adjacent will remain the same and all we have to do is make one angle equals to 90 degrees. So to make ang one angle 90 degrees, what will I have to do? Just think that if I start pushing ang point B towards A, C, what will happen? If I start pushing it, what will happen? This point has moved from its original position towards AC. So the angle B, if you will see, has increased a bit. Now if I move it more closer to AC, what will happen? It will ultimately merge in AC and what will happen? This angle B will increase, increase and increase and this angle will become equals to the angle made by AC with BC that is 90 degrees when this point B will reach at AC. So when this point B merges with AC, this angle B will become equals to 90 degrees. So we can write down that when angle B becomes 90 degrees, this side BC which was our adjacent becomes 0. So its length becomes 0. So we can write down BC becomes 0. That means our adjacent becomes 0 and our hypotenuse becomes equals to the opposite. So we can write down that our hypotenuse, hypotenuse was AB becomes equals to AC. So this we can write down when angle B becomes 90 degrees. And since we have now got all the values for opposite, hypotenuse and adjacent, we can find the value of all the trigonometric ratios for 90 degrees. Now, our first value is sine of 90 degrees. Sine of 
90 degrees and from this we can say that we can say that sine of 90 degrees will be opposite upon hypotenuse and since opposite and hypotenuse have not been changed we are looking at angle B only so the opposites and adjacent will also not change so this will be the same as AC upon AV will put directly the values from there in these parts so if we put the value now AB is equals to AC so in place of AC we can write AB so this will be AB upon AB and hence the value of sine 90 comes out to be 1 similarly for cos 90 it is adjacent upon hypotenuse so adjacent was BC and the value of BC is 0 and the value of AB is AB only so if we put the values this is 0 upon AB and hence cos of 90 comes out to be 0 similarly we can find the value of tan 90 this will be let's divide sin 90 and cos 90 this will be 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 is again infinity or not defined now let, let's move on to our next value that was cot of 90 degrees now cot of 90 degrees will be 1 upon 10 90 degrees that means the reciprocal of 10 90 degrees now if we reciprocal infinity what will we get will get 0 so cot 90 will be 1 upon 10 90 that comes out to be 0 you can also find out its value by dividing cos 90 and sin 90 so again we'll get 0 our next value is sec of 90 degrees to get the value of sec 90 degrees we have to reciprocal the value of cos 90 so this will be again 1 by 0 and 1 by 0 is again infinity now our last value is cosec 90 cosec 90 can be find out by doing the reciprocal of sin 90 so this will be 1 upon 1 and hence the value of cos 90 comes out to be 1 so this is how we had calculated all the values for 0 degrees and 90 degrees a foremost thing is that we should remember the table which we had learned in our first video of this topic and if we learn that table and if we have a good memory of that table we can easily solve out all the examples and all the questions related to trigonometry and later on when whenever we apply trigonometric ratios in a future topics we can easily solve all the queries